David, thank you so much for joining us here at Super Investor. It's great to have everybody back here in what has been a very challenging year for everyone. What would you say were the greatest challenges for you and, and what outcomes have you seen because of those challenges, if you like? I, I think probably like everyone else, the biggest challenge has been you know, being away from people. And it's so good to be back here um, actually in person and been able to shake people's hands and enjoy face-to-face -face conversations again. And I think it's so it, it, it was moving all of our teams to working from home has been great in some senses, more time with family, but I think it's, it's been certainly, um, you know, I think everyone's felt that, that, that kind of strain of not being so connected. And I think what, what's, for a lot of our customers, what it's really emphasized is the real need for technology and how technology can really help them overcome some of the, the operational inefficiencies that were always there. But um, I think the last 18 months have really uh, shone a light on. With that rush to technology, presumably there has to be an air of caution as well, if you like, not to sort of uh, rush into things and, and to find the right solutions. Yeah, well, I think that the, I think what's happened over the last 18 months is a lot of the debates um, around the appropriate use of technology within private asset investing have been accelerated and a lot of where people have maybe been sitting on the fence over it. So for a, a good example would be um, one of the things our platform does is allow people to electronically sign a subscription document. Now people have maybe had different views on that, um, but I think the last 18 months have, have really pushed people over to it's, you know, it's, a, it's a safe way of, of executing those kinds of documents. With that sort of forced change, presumably comes opportunity, as you say, in yep. an in industry that perhaps has been resistant to change in terms of you know, the investment industry as a whole. The, the, this is a, a very rapid evolution now. It is, yeah, and I think there's, there's been so many factors that are, that are kind of pushing the market and, and helping it evolve. Um, one of them is just people expect a technology-driven investment journey. Um, so we have customers that, that use our platform uh, even with just institutional LPs because they want um, a digital investment journey into a fund. But as soon as managers start thinking about how can I distribute to, to private wealth clients, then you know, the technology is really table stakes to be able to distribute to that sector. Are you seeing a, a change now as well in terms of this aspect of retail investors? Talk to me about that, because that was a hot topic on your panel today. It's, well, I think there are, it's, I think it's probably a year ago, two years ago, many managers were thinking about, should we distribute to individual investors or should we just stick with institutions? I, I, I feel we've now moved past that argument to not just, not, not should we, but how do we do it and how do we do it effectively and efficiently? And I think one of the things that's really driven that is um, a, a change in the pension market, a big move from DB to DC pensions, which means managers are no longer so reliant on those sources of capital, but also private wealth as a, as a global pool of capital is, is outstripping institutional investors. And a, and a recent report by Oliver Wyman said that by 2025, high net worth investors will be looking to allocate an additional 5% um, of their portfolios to private assets. And that's a $1.5 trillion opportunity. So managers are really, you know, really sort of sitting up and thinking about how they can get access to that capital. So you're, so you're genuinely seeing progress in that space now. You yeah, feel it is yeah. being genuinely adopted. We've, we've moved, it's moved from being a, a kind of hypothetical discussion to, I think, you know, this year and next year, we're seeing managers really starting to implement solutions. And then beyond that, I think we'll really see products coming to market in a much more kind of expansive way. What's the impact of all of that on the traditional sort of private capital market? Well, so institutional investors still represent 95% of the capital in these funds. And that's not going to change for a while. But I think what, what it does mean is that because people are putting more focus on automation and technology and better access to data, better, better KYC and AML processes, everyone's benefiting from that. How opportune is it for you to be able to now come and discuss all these ideas and, and when you're seeing rapid change like this, how important is it for you to be able to be at events like this where you exchange ideas and actually see people face to face again? Uh, it's, it's, it's critical because I think it, it's, it, these kind of conferences naturally select for the kind of innovators and the early adopters. 
and, and those conversations happen quite naturally because you go and grab the person you want to speak to. So um, in, in terms of you know, finding the people that are, are really thinking about it and really investing in these opportunities, it's been, it's been really helpful. It's good to be back. Thank you so much for joining. Thanks so, so much for your time. Good to see you. <laughs>